Hey guys and gals, Sober Chef Eric here. Today I'm going to be teaching you something real simple. It's going to be the best smoked salmon spread you've ever had. And guess what? Four ingredients. So hang out after this intro and we'll be right back. Hey guys and gals, Sober Chef Eric here. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you something real simple. It's gonna be the best smoked salmon spread you've ever had. And guess what? Four ingredients. So hang out after this intro and we'll be right back. Alrighty guys and gals, thanks for hanging out. All right. Like I said, we're gonna be making the easiest smoked salmon spread and the most tasty salmon spread you've ever had. Yep, that's right. Four ingredients. Four ingredients. Unless you don't like spicy, and then three ingredients. Yep, <clears throat> how simple is that? So we're gonna start out. Now these are four ounce each of hot smoked salmon. Now the difference between hot smoked and cold smoked, cold smoked is gonna be it done at temperatures less than 120 degrees, and it's normally gonna be your locks, the, you know, grav locks, the stuff that you use for bagels and stuff like that. And then hot smoked is done at a temperature of 145 or higher. Now that's gonna give it a firmer texture, and um, now for the different types. Um, I went with Atlantic salmon because it's going to be the mildest of the salmon. It's going to have the highest fat content. Now if you want a little bit stronger flavor, you can go with uh, king salmon. It's going to have a nice high fat content as well. Or you can go with coho salmon which is going to be a little bit leaner and going to be a little bit stronger salmon flavor. Or sockeye which is going to be the highest salmon flavor and the leanest. Yeah, you see how that works? More fat, less salmon flavor. So, and that works if you're gonna be grilling or whatever. So, and I personally went with the cracked black pepper because that is my favorite now. You know, they do make a bunch of different kinds. Like I say, these are two four ounce portions and they were $5.49 each. So, you know, pretty cost effective. Now, just the simple fork, big fork, not a little fork. Somebody gonna make a fork you joke, yeah, I know it. So, we're just gonna start by kind of breaking it up. Breaking it up, 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 breaking it up. Now, Next thing we're going to be adding is our mayonnaise. Now what I've got right here, I've got four tablespoons, some people would call that one quarter of a cup. Ooh, learning lesson. Yeah, so I'm probably not going to use all this, but and then when I get done in the recipe that will be down below. I'll tell you exactly how much I use because you add a little bit at a time just a little bit just a little bit Because if you add too much you can't take it out. Yeah, that's right. Just like the spices little by little by little You can't take it out once it's in So I'm gonna start off with right about a tablespoon And I can tell that's not going to be enough. So I'm going to go for about two tablespoons. And what I'm doing there is, uh, you can call it dry measuring or whatever. Now, simple, simple. Now, if this is too much labor for you, uh, I guess you could use your hand mixer. Or if you're super fancy, you could break out your KitchenAid stand mixer. But, come on. Look, and when I get dirty, one bowl, one fork. 
pretty simple. Now see how it's starting to smooth out? But it's still not quite, um, the culinary term would be tight, and I want it a little bit looser, which means it's a little more liquidy, even though it's not gonna be a liquid. So, added about another tablespoon in there. Who knows, maybe four tablespoons can be right. Now, you can go with, with as much or as little as you like, you know, it's kind of up to you. And that's one thing I hope you learn from my cooking is tailor these to yourself, you know? Now, I wanna make it really easy for people to get with a cracker. So, yep, you got it. I'm gonna use all one quarter of a cup four tablespoons, whatever you want to call it. It's not rocket surgery, that's for sure. All right, so we're gonna mix away. Mix, 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 mix away. Now, it's already got enough salt and obviously I got the cracked pepper, so I don't think it's gonna need any additional salt or pepper. You know, but if you taste it and you want a little saltier, hey, you know, it's your party. Next, what I got, I got one bunch of green onions. And what I did, as you can see, I sliced it, and they call that on the bias or on the angle. And if you notice, I didn't get into the white part too much, or at all, really, because that gets a little peppier, a little more peppery. And that's one bunch. And I'm not going to use all of it because look how much that is and how much that is. Yeah, not going to work. So, ooh, I love the smell of that. Here, smell. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. So I'm going to use about half of this, which is going to be about a third of a stalk of the green onion. We're going to mix, mix, mix it up. Mix, mix, mix it up. You see how it's getting really, really, it's not quite a pate, but you know, all those fibers have been broken down. Now, for me and my friends, yeah, I'm taking this to a Super Bowl party, and me and my friends, we like it spicy. So, I got one eighth of a teaspoon I said teaspoon, not tablespoon. Because one eighth of a tablespoon in this, whoo, people be dancing. There we go. Now I'm gonna show you my favorite cracker to serve it with, but serve it with whatever cracker you like. Personally, I like to do gluten free. So I will show you the ones I'm going to use in just a second when we do the old taste taste doodle Some people would call that the money shot. All right, guys, see how simple that is? All right, I'll see you in just one second. All right, guys, girls, dudes, dudettes, we're back. Yep, time for the good stuff. Now, I've had some people ask me, who did that? Who did that painting right there? Guess what? My pops did it. Yeah, pretty amazing. My favorite picture, and he gave it to me as a housewarming present when I moved down here in 2015. And wait, what else do I got? Oh yeah, I got a couple pictures that I took. Yeah, and here is one of the coolest things. My best friend Jeff and his fiance Jessica, they got me Ninja Bread Men. Yeah, not gingerbread, ninja bread. Whoa, yeah. Whoa. All right, enough messing around. All right, here we go, guys. Smoked salmon spread. Now, my friends are making a big pot of chili, and I know all my other friends are gonna bring all kinds of stuff, so I didn't make a ton. Like I said, this is gonna be a little over eight ounces, um, eight ounces of salmon. So, you know, if you're having like 10 to 12 people and you're only going to be having a few appetizers and maybe make three quarters of a pound, yeah, I don't know. If you're not sure, DM me on Instagram 
at Sober Chef Eric. It'll be down below now for the good stuff. Oh yeah, what crackers do I like with these? I say I like gluten-free and Smokehouse Nut Thins. Yeah, like I say they're gluten-free, they got a little smoke to them. Now, as you can see, I didn't open them because if I did, this thing wouldn't last. Nope, it would be gone. So, nice little seafood fork here, huh? Seafood, get it, get it, <laughs> All right. Mm. Like I said, best smoked salmon spread ever. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully you make it. Hopefully you enjoy it. And like I always say, remember, life's too short to eat bad food.